What is good, Tesla family? It's your boy Ray J back with another video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the one and only Tesla and why I'm extremely bullish for the near term and long term futures. I'm going to talk about what under the mainstream media has been saying about Tesla quite recently. I'm going to talk about what the man, the myth, the legend Elon Musk has been putting on his t Twitter account about Tesla. Now, before I do get started on any of this, I do have to mention that I'm not a financial legal or taxation expert, so don't take this as financial legal or taxation advice. Everything in this video is solely for entertainment purposes only. And also, if you guys can, please smash that like button if you want to see more videos like this and not only benefits me but benefits the entire tesla community as a whole with all that out of the way guys let's get on with the video so looking at tesla right now from the one day perspective we can see that we're currently a little bit down we were down about 0.64 percent for the day but that's still basically nothing i'm not scared whatsoever it's still looking very very bullish and strong now you can see in the after hours we did have a bit of a recovery we're barely down 0.1 percent so it's still looking good guys it's nothing to be concerned about now i did tell you guys that I did see Tesla breaking past 1,250 this week. We ended up closing below that. But remember, if I bring up the five-day chart, there was a moment where we hit 1,243. I thought Tesla's top resistance would be around 1,250, but it was a little bit you know, lower than that. But that's not scary whatsoever. I still think next week is going to look very good as we look at many indicators. But before I talk about the indicators, let's look at this right now. Tesla dropped today. It dropped to $1,208, then ran all the way up to $1,239. We saw high volatility as always, but then we did drop a little bit as we ended up closing at $1,222.09 a share. Now, once again, we are a little bit down, but that's not concerning to me whatsoever because I do think we're going to have a good recovery very soon. I do think we're going to see more green very very soon and that's because if you look at the macd right now the macd is on the verge of flipping but it hasn't flipped quite yet which means that there could be some sideways action coming in the upcoming days but i do still think that there's going to be an upward trajectory continuing if you give it time what i am trying to say is that we could run up just a little bit then start seeing a little bit of sideways action just for some time before we continue to run up again and that doesn't mean i'm bearish i'm just simply putting it out there because the macd is currently still in the green but it's getting closer to flipping as of right now now there were in instances where this happened in the past before it recovered so there is a possibility that tesla might not be done yet it might still you know keep on pushing forward even after this indicator showing this i also want to show you guys the rsi right now the rsi is still showing you know lots and lots of strength it's at 78.39 insane amounts of strength it's still looking strong but remember tesla is not just a short-term play there can there can be red days there can be some swings here and there from a day-to-day -day basis but if you zoom out if you look at you know the past six months like what i have right here the thing is just green 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 almost always and it's just gonna keep on continuing like this in the future in my opinion now i do want to note something else that came out um, the jobs report for the United States just came out and there were 531,000 jobs either created or, you know, people went back to work in that sense. And if anything, the unemployment rate of the U.S. fell 4.6%. So that was really good for the NASDAQ and the SPY. So even though that happened, we saw a green SPY, but Tesla was a little bit in the red, which I just think is normal. It could just be like a moment of consolidation after all the green. As you guys know, Tesla's not green every single day. There are going to be moments where it's a little red, maybe some consolidation here and there. But once again, I'm not scared whatsoever because I know in the long-term future, I'm extremely bullish. I do see Tesla breaking $3,000 within the next couple of years. I do see it breaking $2,000 quite soon. But before I talk about my specific price target for next week, let's go on with, with what the mainstream media has been saying. So basically, there was one article that came out. It says that see how non-Tesla EVs block Tesla superchargers now. And even though there is some FUD that spreads out there, I'm just putting it out there. This is nothing to be concerned about. It says that the fact that Tesla is opening their supercharging, the supercharging stations in you know, Norway and other companies like that. When that happens, it gives more and more companies more access to charge their cars, whether they're a Tesla or not. And for me, from an investor standpoint, it's going to be very good. But once again, the media is going to find some way to criticize Tesla for it. And to me, I'm not having it, guys. We don't even need to worry about this. They're talking about how like, oh, it means only cars with the same charging port locations are actually able to have access to it. But remember, this is just getting started right now. It's actually an experiment. So I'm not concerned whatsoever. Okay, I'm not concerned. 
I personally think that as time progresses, this is going to open more paths for Tesla and the revenue is going to go up, making it look even better for institutionalized investors as well. So do not fall for FUD articles like this. It was also mentioned, and this is a really good article. I, I actually like this one. It's from CNBC. It, it stated, here's how much money you'd have if you invested $1,000 in Tesla 1, 5, and 10 years ago. And I like to look at articles like this because it really just helps you you know, take a step back and look at the progress this company has made. It basically states that one year ago, if you invested in Tesla when it was only $400 a share, you would have nearly tripled your money by now. And the 1000 would turn into $1,240, excuse me, $2,940. That came out wrong. So almost $3,000 if you had just invested in Tesla a year ago. And then it also states that if you had invested in 2011 into Tesla, you would have made a much, much, much bigger return. And this is the crazy part. You would have made $204,000 if you had just invested $1,000 in Tesla in 2011 of November. That's insane. So I'm just putting it out there. I just want you guys to look at the perspective and then think about the fact that this is not the end of its growth. We're still in a growth phase for this company, in my opinion. And I still see more potential to make even more money on it. So I'm not giving financial advice. I'm just putting it out there. I also want to note what this article is saying right here. Once this page loads, it basically states that uh, the Tesla Model 3 now costs $8,000 more than it did in February. And I totally understand why, you know, this can end up being true, but I'm not concerned about this once again it's not bad news and here's the reason why even though the price of the cars are kind of going up here and there due to many many issues that have arose in tesla it's not a bad thing whatsoever because this may be a result of you know the chip shortage and many other things that happened but it's not scary because tesla is not just a company that's based off prices it's a brand and a lot of people buy the cars because they're nice cars if this was just if there were a million ev companies or a dozen of them that were as good as tesla that didn't that had its brand power this could be a concern but that's not what's going on there's only one tesla there's only one big ev company with a huge brand like this right now and it's nothing to be concerned about because people are going to keep on buying them. There's insane demand for Teslas, and I just see the demand going up and up and up as time progresses because they have many features from the full self-driving technology to the cameras, the security features. I mean, these cars are just amazing, absolutely amazing. So this is nothing to be worried about, guys. I'm still very bullish for Tesla in terms of its stock price. Once again, don't let the FUD articles trick you. Now, there were more articles coming out about Tesla's supercharger network here and there, different information about the price the range other things coming out like that so i'm not going to go into detail about that right now we already know what is going to come out but i just want to let you guys know that there is more and more news coming out about it there's more and more data coming out that makes people more excited it's getting more and more positive sentiment towards investors towards people out there towards the news as well so anyways let's get on with the elon musk tweets and elon musk did say some very interesting things basically he put this on his twitter he liked this post it basically states that the fundamental intention of tesla at least my motivation was to accelerate the advent of sustainable energy. That's why I open source the patents. It's the only way to transition to sustainable energy better. That, in my opinion, is absolutely groundbreaking because this is something Elon Musk had stated in the past. And, you know, they're, re they're bringing this up again. And it's, it's almost like he foresaw exactly what was going to be going down with Tesla, what, what on earth was happening. So Elon Musk liking this tweet is kind of like him reminding us, reminding us of the progress they've made. Because Tesla succeeding is not just Tesla's success. It's also seeing Ford succeed in EV production. It's also seeing other companies like Neo succeed. That means that they're accelerating EV technology for the sake of this planet to increase the odds of the survival of humanity, in increasing the odds of sustainable technology, you know, perpetuating. That's what the goal was. It, now, that doesn't mean he doesn't want Tesla to just be one of the top companies out there. He obviously loves Tesla. Tesla is Elon Musk. Elon Musk wants Tesla to absolutely succeed. 
but he's also putting it out there that their goal is also to help the entire globe collectively solve these problems. And I just want to put it out there that if you invest in Tesla, believe it or not, you are playing a role too. And that's what this company is about. So, you know, to me, that's extremely exciting what this company has coming up very soon. And it's very wonderful that Elon Musk has stated this. He also liked this tweet over here. It says that the Model Y is still unquestionably better in most respects than any other electric SUVs in its price range. If you want the best load uh, lugging electric SUV in this price range, the Model Y has to be on your top list. Not only is it a very safe car, not only is it one of the best SUVs out there, the thing is, Elon Musk is reminding us that no matter what the mainstream you know, media says, no matter how much they may attack Tesla's prices, remember how great these cars are. Remember the transitions that they made. Remember that because Elon Musk is trying to remind you guys too. So with that said and done, guys, I'm very grateful that if you watch the video to the end, I'm extremely bullish for Tesla. And what I think is going to play out is my price target should be, I think Tesla is easily going to break past 1,250, but we are seeing higher levels of resistance. So we could see more volatility, but I still think we're going to slowly stair step our way up again and again and again. We might hit a moment of consolidation before we start going higher once again and continue on the bullish cycle. With that said and done, guys, I'm very bullish for the near term and long term future. Please enjoy your weekend have a great great relaxing weekend and take care so thank you guys have a great rest of the day and i'll see you on the next one peace out